Have some fire. Do not want No, but how do you go? She's exploding, Ven girl. She's exploding. I have her attention now. Well, if you're going to attention on me. Zap. Welp. That worked out. Boop. I want my my not being dead's back. Oh, right. There's a glowy light there. Um. Can I go out this way? No. Well, let's see what the glowy light does. I don't know. I haven't encountered this before. Try backstepping. Well, I don't feel like proceeding to the throne. So... Meh. Yes. Let's see what this does. Am I locked in this room? I am locked in this room with no recourse but to proceed to the throne. Okay. I'm going to go talk to what's his face. I'm going to let this cutscene play, but see if they made the ability to skip the credits or not. I feel like something's you missing. who link the fire. You, who bear the curse. Once the fire is linked, souls will flourish anew, and all of this will play out again. It is your choice to embrace or renounce this. Pretty cutscene in its own simple way. Great sovereign, take your throne. This is the part where the cloth physics tend to have weird issues with certain outfits. Lies ahead. Only you can see.
something popped up. Oh, mashing the start button does nothing. Okay, well, this is the part where I try to be entertaining for the seven minutes that this uh, is going, right? I definitely want to go to the other areas. Um, I wish I knew where to get all of the keys, though. Like, I definitely feel like I'm missing stuff, for sure. But, um... Uh, I need to check behind the undead, giant undead rat. I forget the name of it. I, I can never 100% remember. One of them's the Royal Rat Vanguard, and the other's the Royal Rat something or another else. That's not the Vanguard. Um, but I need to kill the not Sif, basically, as people refer to it as. Um, like, so, this is an interesting point. Like, I fully understand the importance of the credits, and I think it's really cool. But if I actually wanted to know who made the game, I would want a separate credits thing where I could actually look at it, right? So, this is a sort of... I appreciate the the sentiment, right? Of these are all the people that made the game. And... They did a lot of really good stuff. They, like they did a lot. Of, they did a lot of hard work, and they they put a lot of effort into making this game. And that's not to be like brushed aside or anything. Um, but at the same time, if I act like this is the part of the movie theater where people are waiting for a thing afterwards, right? Um, uh, the stinger. And, uh, I just kind of want to get on with it. This is, this is also presented in a very non-dense manner, uh, which kind of drags stuff out. If you look, the whole right two-thirds of the screen or more isn't being used. Um, there could be something there. But, it is what it is. Um, and I respect their desire to, to have everybody get mentioned and for the crest to play, but, uh, I don't know if they made it so you can skip them on subsequent characters or not. I hope so. Um, but I don't know if they did. No matter things to say right now. I can try mispronouncing people's names. We talk off fuse. I don't know. Kiyomi Matsumoto. Wakako Ishibashi. Christophe Delanois. I don't know who or what that or, uh, where that name is from. Luca Vicentini. Australia is a Stephen O'Leary. Sounds like an Irish name to me. Quality control. All these people right here, the testers, definitely deserve credit. And I I don't know if those are like the, just the test leads or how all this is um, arranged. But QA department's testers tend to get a lot of the short end of the stick. Um, it's Game testing is, is, is a job, not a career or a passion. I mean, it might be a passion for somebody, but if it's a passion for somebody, they'd better find a better place to do testing than some of the larger testing things. Oh, man. Please. Please. Oh. Blah. So this is... I have finished the credits for Scholar of the First Sin, and now I have the credits for Dark Souls 2. So I'm just going to take... I play with a 360 controller, a wired one. I... I prefer my controllers. I I generally prefer stuff wired. I don't like having to deal with batteries and stuff. Um, that's just personal preference. 
The song was pretty. etc. I would I I don't know how the credit sequences reward kind of came about. Um something to investigate the history of, I suppose. But it seems really weird. Um So, my general pr preference for the way credits are presented is to more have a static display screen that you can click into. If you're going to have end credits, they should be skippable. Um, it's important that people get credited, absolutely. Medieval Weapons Consultant, that's kind of cool. My preference... Okay, so they have a Jenny Shima under motion capture. I wonder what she motion captured for. Uh, maybe the female character animations? I don't know. Um, but... I would generally prefer the credits, because like, if I want to examine the credits, I want to be able to examine them, and this is not conducive to doing that. This is absolutely feels like a vestigial aspect of um, the movie industry. Not that the, it's... Because it, it, it makes sense over in movies, right? Where it's like, okay, well, it's going... Uh, hello, uh, hello, and welcome to the boring part of Dark Souls 2, the part where you have the unskippable credits. Um, but I, interesting that Ornifex and Dan and Tiller are voiced by the same person. Um, I really wish that this had been, even if it was, like, unskippable, it could easily be cut to, like, a th third of the time by making more use of screen real estate. But... Like, so there's, like, cool game credits, right? Where you can do stuff during them. Uh, Smash Brothers 4 does this. Uh, the... I think the Devil May Cry games and Bayonetta did this. Um, where you can do things during the sequence. I need to go check out the Salamander area now in retrospect. Yeah, there's a lot of little things that I need to take care of. Um, but this style of credits feels like it's a remnant of the movie industry. Again, where it makes sense how it's done in the movie industry, but I just would prefer like more of a list that I could go and examine if I wanted to actually find something um, in from a games standpoint as a separate screen. Or, and if you're going to have an, an end scene like this, make make it part of the game, right? Because this isn't part of the game, this is just a thing I'm waiting to end so I can get back to the game. Uh... Oh man, I'm hoping that means it's just about over. Come on. Yes! I got the hair. Not actually what that achievement says. It says the air, but um, okay, cool. Now uh, I get a level up. Try to make sense of this. Whatever I'm doing, build-wise. Actually, I want more attunement. Um, 